fatal ambush and accused accomplices turning on their alleged leader. A series of unexpected guilty pleas today in a murder for hire scheme that targeted a South Hill businessman. Doug Carlisle was shot to death in December of 2013 inside his South Hill home. And today, both the killer, Timothy Succo, and the Spokane man who recruited him to pull the trigger admitted their involvement in Carlisle's homicide. KXY4 is Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight with new information about this fatal ambush. Jeff? Nadine, U.S. attorneys have very effectively divided and conquered the half dozen defendants in this case today in court. You could see that five of them are all in the process of rolling over on the alleged mastermind in the Carlisle killing, a man named James Hendrickson. The murder inside Doug Carlisle's home happened as the South Hill businessman was trying to buy out his partner in a 640-acre oil field. In the weeks before the killing, Carlisle told his adult son, if I disappear or wake up with bullets in my back, promise me you'll let everyone know that James Henriksen did it. We believe um, that it is very possible that the homicide was a result of those business transactions that, that went bad. Carlisle's murder turned out to be a bad deal for everyone involved. Spokane resident Tim Succo says he was promised $20,000 for the killing but was arrested before Hendrickson paid him. Also today, we learned the two other men at Carlisle's home that night thought they were there simply to rob Carlisle safe. Today, the alleged driver of this getaway van, Robbie Joe War, asked to delay his guilty plea. Robert DeLau, who admitted hiring Succo for the killing, pleaded guilty to murder for hire charges and faces 14 to 17 years in prison. And Nadine, as a condition of Tim Succo's 30-year plea deal today, he has to testify against Hendrickson, the alleged architect in the Carlisle murder. Hendrickson's attorney now asking that that testimony be blocked. Hendrickson, he is not ready to plead guilty. In fact, his trial now scheduled to get underway on October 5th. Mm. Okay, so Jeff, what about the two men who were supposed to plead guilty today? Well, one of them appeared genuinely confused about what he was pleading guilty to. The judge seems like a very fair-minded fellow, and so out of fairness to him, he simply rejected his guilty plea at this time. The other defendant also had reservations about pleading guilty and simply asked that he have more time to confer with his attorney. Look for these first sentencings and the Carlisle killings getting underway on December 8th. Reporting live in federal court, Jeff Humphrey, Cancel Y4.